With the election two days away, Vice President Harris and former President Trump are making their final pitches to voters. The election generating massive early voter turnout, with more than 73 million Americans already casting their ballots. On Saturday, both candidates visiting Battleground, North Carolina. Harris speaking to voters in Charlotte. We have three days left in one of the most consequential elections of our lifetime, and we still have work to do. We still have work to do, but here's the thing I know about everybody here. We like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work is joyful work. And make no mistake, we will win. Former President Trump holding an afternoon rally in Gastonia before heading to Greensboro. The fate of our nation is really in your hands. This is a very important state, and we have to get this solved. We have to get you out. We're winning by a lot, but, you know, you can lose by a little. You know, when you're winning by a lot, you can still lose by a little. And we can't take a chance of losing the great state of North Carolina. We're not going to lose the great state of North Carolina. Trump won North Carolina in 2020 by about 75,000 votes. Polls show this race is another dead heat. Today, the former president will be in Kinston, North Carolina, as well as Georgia and Pennsylvania. Vice President Harris will be in Michigan. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News, New York. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.